Hey everybody, Mary Gaucher here with Jamie Harris. Happy Sunday to you. Um, we are coming to you from my studio in Nashville. Uh, Peter Case is on board in the green room. Uh, we got Michele Gazic as well coming to us from outside of Venice, Italy. Uh, and it uh, looks like uh, Hurricane Delta or Tropical Storm Delta is pulling out of Nashville. The rain, solid 48 hours of, mm -hmm. um, of rain is starting to leave, uh, which triggered a massive uh, leaf fall from the trees all around the house. There's just leaves on the ground. and uh, It also triggered an, 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 a huge amount of laziness on my part. I just, I it was in my pajamas <laughs> for two days. I ate a lot of brownies. Yeah. I watched a lot of horror stuff. <laughs> yeah, Jamie was baking brownies at 10.45 p.m., fell in the house with the smell of brownies, which um, I can uh, resist only for a few short minutes before I devour the entire tray, no matter what diet I'm on. So uh, uh, my ability to self-restrain is limited, and brownies are not something I can resist. They were really good. <laughs> Uh, eating brownies at night in the uh, in the wind and rain, uh, or in ha in the house with the wind and rain outside. It's solid fall here in Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, leaves are really changing. Uh, we're thinking about all the folks down in the Gulf Coast, particularly in the Lake Charles area, that's been battered uh, so, so many times this uh, last couple of uh, weeks, really. Uh, uh, the back-to-back -back hurricanes is is a nightmare, and uh, we're thinking about y'all. I'm a, I'm a Louisiana girl, and I grew up with hurricanes, uh, and I, I know uh, uh, just, uh, just how bad it is to go without power for a really long time. Uh, man, it's been a lot going on. I was telling Jamie when I was a kid, my, my dad uh, told us that uh, at night when a hurricane comes, if you have to use the bathroom, he put a flashlight by the toilet because we all knew the power would go out. He said, turn the flashlight on and look in the toilet before you use the toilet because snakes and alligators come up through the sewer during these storms. No. I've never been the same <laughs> no. since being told that. <laughs> uh, that is actually something that happens. Um, and uh, that's the least of it. Uh, these days, all those uh, folks in Lake Charles with the blue tarps already on their roofs, uh, uh, having them ripped back and having the water come into their home and, and ruining their possessions. We're thinking about y'all, Cameron Parish, Creole, Louisiana, all the folks down there uh, thinking about you, uh, sending love uh, from Nashville. And uh, I guess I'll just get going here. We do have Peter Case with us. If you're coming to us from Peter's Facebook page, uh, he's in the green room. He will join us shortly for some music. Uh, the way it's going to work is I want to play a few songs with Jamie, and then we'll bring Peter. We have uh, a little show planned out. Well, not really planned out. It's spontaneous, actually. We don't rehearse and we don't plan. We just hope for best, and it usually works out pretty good. Uh, we have a, a decent... Um, the video going right now. Sometimes it freezes up and we have no control. But, you know, it happens on CNN, too. Yeah, that's true. Suddenly people just, they freeze. The voice is gone. It's, uh, it's, it's about uh, bandwidth, and you can't really control that. However many people are online in our neighborhood determines the strength of our signal right now. It's a pretty good time to be doing it. So uh, here we go. Get home at 5.30 Fix his drink and sit down in his chair Pick a fight with mama Complain about us kids getting in his hair At night he'd sit alone and smoke I'd see his frown behind his lighter's flame that same frowns in my mirror I've got my daddy's 
blood inside my veins Fish swim Fly Dead as yell Mama's cry Old men Sitting things Chicken TV dinner, six minutes to frost and three on high. Beer to wash it down with another, then some whiskey on the side. It ain't so bad along here, it don't bother me, but every night's the same. I don't need another lover hanging round, trying to make me change. Fish swim, birds fly, lovers leave. country song I wrote a long time ago in the early 90s I think mid 90s it's been good to me that song and this is a newer song just sort of came up with it um, in the last couple years haven't recorded it yet oh, it's good to see everybody uh, on the stream I love hearing where you are uh, thanks for posting your location. I love this uh, opportunity to reach uh, all over all over the world simultaneously. It's uh, it's still uh, incredible to me actually that we can hit a button uh, and reach uh, anybody on Earth if yeah, they want to tune in. Yeah, we have someone in Argentina in. today. Argentina. That's cool. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My friend Richard uh, Schindel lives in Buenos Aires. Oh, I didn't know that. Great writer. We should try to get him on this show. You see, we could we could have someone in Buenos Aires as our guest here. It's kind of amazing. It's unprecedented. This is new technology, really, to be able to do this and broadcast live without owning a television station. <laughs> <laughs> and even then, you can't broad broadcast globally, I don't think, although I don't know. Uh, Edinburgh, Rockville, Maryland, Houston's in the house, Bainbridge, New York, Denver, look at that, Portsmouth, UK, Martha's Vineyard, oh man, the Woods Hole Hotel, no, Woods Hole, I uh, played on the vineyard uh, many times when I was getting started uh, back in the day, Langley, BC, British Columbia, San Francisco, Santa Rosa, the smoke is cleared, I'm so happy to hear that. And I hope that uh, everybody's okay there, Chris. Uh, France, hello, Philippe. 
Ann Arbor, Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Incredible, really. Just incredible. Thank you all for jumping on to, on to our little uh, homegrown show here. I think about the joy inside your laughter. I think about. Am I in the wrong key? No. Why are you giving me that look? Am I looking weird? I didn't mean to. Oh. Your hand inside my. I'll think about the sweetness of your soft skin while I try not to think about time. I'll think about my wrapped all around you I think about the kindness in your eyes I think about how you showed up on my doorstep when I was trying not to think about time. So many roads, so many towns between us, so many nights, so many stairs to climb so many thoughts to think as I miss you and I try not to think about time I'll think about your candlestick finger on my skin. I'll think about the shiver in your side. I'll think about how much. I want to kiss you as I try not to think about time. So many roads, so many towns between.
thoughts to think Is that me? to think about time I will try not to think about Victoria, British Columbia. That's right. It's uh, Canadian Thanksgiving this weekend. Did you know that? I didn't know that, no. Yeah, yeah, it is. I have, I've not spent a lot of time in Canada, so I don't actually, sadly, don't know a lot about. That's right. You have not. You've been to Canada during the. Uh, Edmonton Folk Festival. Edmonton Folk Festival, which was really incredible. Crazy. So and fun. then we br went there in February to. Uh, Calgary? Uh, uh, Calgary. It was. And my nose hair is 26 gross. below. Uh, and uh, <laughs> Jamie is uh, from Waco, Texas, and spent a lot of time in Austin and really has never been in <laughs> that kind of climate. Uh, that, but that's the only two times you've been to Canada. Mm -hmm. We'll get you back in some more. For ga Jamie to get into Canada, it takes lawyers because of a, um, a prior uh, issue with drinking and driving. That has been resolved one day at a time. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, it, it takes 10 years for that to drop off your record. So uh, you've got a little ways to go. But we get here in with some um, uh, maneuvering uh, with lawyers and permissions and stuff. The incredibly dangerous and threatening uh, yeah. Jamie <laughs> Harris. <laughs> uh, let's bring Peter Case in Yay. and see how he's doing. Hey, man. Hey, how are you going out there? <laughs> Good to well, see was, you, man. <laughs> yeah, you guys are sounding great. Oh, thank you. Those, thank are you. those are beautiful songs, you know. Oh, thanks, brother. I'm just sitting here listening, man. I'm digging it. Oh, it's good to see you here with us. I'm so glad we got to reschedule this. We were going to have you earlier on, but you had you were fighting the cold forever. and Yeah, I, was, uh, I, I don't know what kind of cold that was, man. It lasted about three months, and I, uh, at one point, like... Uh, I thought I'd had it, you know. So I, I had a test after it was all over. That you couldn't get a test out here, you know. But I finally got one, and by the time I got the test, I didn't have whatever it was. But man, I was not well. I remember you were coughing for three months, and it was went on forever, man. It was uh, it was unfortunate and 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 probably uh, uh, scary to to get something like that during the pandemic and. And uh, we had you scheduled, and uh, you couldn't come on because of not feeling well. But we were able to reschedule, and here we are. Yeah, here we are. Yeah. Oh you know. man. Now you're in San Francisco proper. Yeah, I am. Right in the city, uh, Richmond, Richmond district, Richmond. Oh wow. It's right in the city. You know, I'm kind of like equidistant between the uh, the bay, the park, and the ocean. How nice wow. is that? Is the smoke cleared out? Is it? Yeah, you know, uh, it's cleared out a bit, you know, there's still things going on, but, uh, man, for a while here, one day I woke up, and uh, it was uh, it was like 8.30 in the morning, and it was pitch black outside. It was like midnight out there, and I thought, I'd lose, I, thought I was losing it finally, and I checked, I had to Google, like, what time the sun comes up, that's how stupid I am. I'm like, oh, this couldn't be right, you know, 8.30 in the morning, like, and some, you know, the sun hasn't come up, and then uh, I went out front, and uh uh, by noon, it was still dark, uh, you know, because those that was from uh, really high smoke from all over the whole West Coast, up in the jet stream, and then the the marine layer here, and it was unbelievable. Lasted about a week. The, the sun came up eventually, but um, not that day. You know, I was working with the student. I do uh, I do a little teaching online, one on one. I was working with a student in San Francisco, and she brought her camera to the window, and uh, you know, I know that. Feel I was like, oh my God, we are either we've lost our minds, or we're actually in a dream and we think we're awake, or something really, really bad is happening out there because it is, you know, darkness <laughs> at the it break was, of noon, like the Bible, like like it, that yeah, Dylan it was, song. It's it was yeah, it was really me, yeah. really surreal. 
Yeah, it's really scary what's happened out here. Like, you know, a couple million acres were burned, you know. Um, I don't know. Climate change. Oh, so, man. Well, pretty freaked you know. out, man. So, uh, you know, it's a I'm, wild I'm time worried. right now, man. We're in the we're in the crux. Yeah, yeah. Um, Al Gore was on uh, Farik Sakara's uh, CNN show this morning talking about it. Um, Where's he been for the last eight years? <laughs> I don't know. He's been working. He made out. that great movie and then he dropped out. What did he do? Because it was so great that thing he was saying there. And then like, you know, you can't just say something once these days, man. You got to say it for like ten years. <laughs> Look how long it took Bruce Springsteen to make it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, it took like twenty years, and like he was, yeah, it was after he was on the cover of Time magazine. And this is old news for everybody, but it seems like yesterday to me. But but uh, you know what I'm saying? America's like a deep deep well you know you have to like you know just keep doing things over and over and over again before well what do i know i don't know but well you know he definitely has been saying what he's been he, you know what nobody wanted to hear from al gore but apparently they want to hear from him again and he looks really good he's he looks oh, strong. good for him that's great he looks fit he looks uh he's very sharp mentally uh and as usual speaking over my head about uh, uh the complexities of the um chemistry and, and physics of what's happening. Uh, but uh, I'm glad he that they're that having stuff, him back yeah. on because he knows his shit about this stuff. And uh, Yeah, he really does. He's our, he's our leader in this area. And uh, Anyway, enough of that. We'd love to hear you play some music, Peter. That's what people really want. Yeah, I haven't want. played any music for anybody for quite a while, man, so uh, hope I can still do it. <laughs> but we'll see here in a second. It's so, like riding um, a bicycle at this point. You got it. Yeah. I'd be afraid to ride a bicycle at this point. So would I. I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'm just kidding, but, you know, uh, I don't have one. Let me put it that way. Okay, I'm going to take out these earplugs. I'm just going to play a song, you know. Like, if play you want to stop me or something, just wave me down, you know. Play That's two, it. man. Play two. We'll put ourselves in the green room. Okay, playing two. Here we go. All right. All right. All right. I'm going to start off with a song about, uh, it's kind of a song from travel, you know, a traveling song. <laughs> something that I'm not doing any of, so... Driving twelve hours after the show Made the border at dawn and kept going The route crossed my path, I was two in the mind I make it, there's no way else, no way. I should have called home before she went to sleep. Now I pray the Lord for her soul to keep. Tomorrow will tell who's been tending the sheep. The world turns every 24 hours. Black squall and rain, I could see them but just for an instant. The wind hauled the morning off like a train, and the skyline was lost in the distance. The skyline was lost in the distance. Who moved the furniture? Who hit the light? Everything's changing and nothing feels right. I thought I was smart, but that was last night. Well, turns every 24 hours Ah, it turns every 24 Ah, it turns every 24 
through the town Was blocked by the flood and the crash side The cop waved me through but I thought of you Ten thousand miles of moonlight Across ten thousand miles of moonlight Life's opportunity moves with great speed Pay close attention, it's not guaranteed We live in a world of wonder indeed And it turns every 24 hours ah, It turns every 24 ah, It turns every 24 24 It turns every 24 It turns every 24 Well it turns every 24 hours Well it turns every 24 hours Okay Here's a song that um you know, I wrote this next song a while back. It's kind of a gospel song that I wrote for Robert Randolph. You know, Robert Randolph and the family band. I met Robert Randolph, and then I, uh, um, I uh, wrote I wrote this, you know, I, I had this song, and I wrote it, and I, I next time I saw him, I played it for him, and it's the only time in my life I ever just sat there and played a song for someone, an artist, and he recorded it. He said, okay, I'm going to record that. I know. He cut it and put it on one of his records. And it's called I Still Belong. Now, it's kind of a gospel song. I'm not really like uh, like any sort of evangelizer or anything like that at all. I was raised by the... I was raised in a Unitarian home. Dave Van Rock explained to me one time that if you... that when you move to... When you move to a Unitarian neighborhood, they, they burn a question mark on your front lawn. That was his joke about the Unitarians, because they're always questing, you know. It's all about the quest. But, uh, but the song, it's, uh, um, it's called I Still Belong. Woke up today, saw it on a brand new way. I had to turn my head, I still belong. I got rescued long ago. How it happened, I don't know. You say it don't make much sense, but I know it ain't no coincidence. My life has changed, and who's to say how this love will set my way? The night is long and the road is dark. All you need is just one spark. I still belong. Even though I have to turn my hat, I still belong. I still belong to Jesus Well, the finger pointing preacher screams He's hunting sinners in his dreams but Jesus didn't stop no war. He reached his hands out to the poor. He said, the, the lame will walk and the blind will see. Take care of each other. You take care of me. Uh, you can say he was a fatherless child, but he brought love and mercy mild. I still belong. 
Uh, even though I turn my head, I still belong. I still belong to Jesus. Well, you heard about the great divorce. Well, I came to in deep remorse. Sometimes I struggle oh. Well I struggle And I stray I turn my head When it's dark and bright It's like the mob So have no doubt Once you're in Well you can't get out I still belong Even though I've turned I still belong, I still belong to Jesus, I still belong to Jesus. Awesome. That is awesome. God, I still belong. <laughs> hey, let me put my earphone in. Oh, that's right. It's in Woo. Man, it's a trip. Everything's all tangled up over here. I'm in a weird corner of my pad right now. Just because this is where the plugs are, you know. So I'm all like, I'm looking at that picture of Robert Johnson in that hotel where he's facing the wall, you know. <laughs> it's kind of what it's like. You know what I'm talking about in that San Antonio hotel? I'm like right over by the wall, you know. Uh, but it's kind of weird over here. But yeah, that was. it's fun to be playing uh People are loving it. Everyone's so excited to hear you. Yeah, um, we're reading the comments. Everybody's so happy to hear you. Uh, oh, that's fantastic, man. Yeah, you sound good. You look good. The songs are great. This is fun. We're we're actually succeeding here, Peter. Wow, hard to believe. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> All right, I'll take it though. It's a Am moment I in play time. Another song? Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll bring you this back in a minute. This little guitar I was talking about. I got this from my friend Yukon Bob Stubblebine from Stubblebine's Luthery up in um, Somerville, Massachusetts. This is an old, I think it's like a late 30s or early 40s guitar from uh, uh, Tonk, the Tonklin Brothers. It's a Tonk. And uh, I made my new album on it. Um, it's called, the album, new album's coming out pretty soon. It's called The Midnight Broadcast that I made with my friend Ron Franklin and... Uh, uh, a couple of other characters up in uh, Martha's Vineyard. We actually recorded the album in a church in Martha's Vineyard. Oh, beautiful. And um, I'm going to play a song that... Am I supposed to play another song? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, okay. And uh, let me put that... See if I can put that down a safe way. Uh, all right, I'm going to play a song that we cover. I better uh, tune up, though, and... Uh, it's a record, you know, this record is, the concept of the record was that uh, it's kind of a concept record. You've made some concept records, right? I made one. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. It's hard. you got to fill in a lot of blanks for, with the songs that are part of the story that develops after you have the concept. <laughs> well, we didn't work. have a story, you know. We just I had, had a, a concept. So that was the good part. And, uh, <laughs> and it's, I didn't really write many songs on it. You know, there's one song, it was like the first song I ever wrote is on there. Uh, well, not the very first, the first song I ever wrote that anybody wanted to hear again, you know, is on there from 1970, it's a song on there. And um, uh, the concept of the record, I guess, is sort of like, uh, like, because I was driving somewhere up in the, you know, you're always driving around back when we were playing gigs, and it's always dark out, and you're driving after a gig to make it to the next show or something like that. You do that. You must do that a lot. You know, you oh, have to get. Yeah. yeah, you drive after the gig. It's like really crazy, and uh, it's always dark. You're driving along, and then uh, you turn on the radio one night, and all of a sudden, this really strange radio show starts up. You're like out in the middle of nowhere. You can't see anything. You can't tell if there's a cliff or a field by the road. You can't. Armadillos start running across the road, and that's <laughs> weird because you're in Ohio. And uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So you listen yeah. to this radio show, and uh, that's what the record is. It's like the radio show. We've got a DJ and everything. Um, it's oh, a that's a radio cool. show. It's called the Midnight Broadcast. Yeah, wow, cool. And so, um, and so we did it there. And then uh, 
my friend Ron produced it, and then uh, and, uh, um, a fellow that I used to play, when I came out to California, I played on the street with this guy, Bert Devert, and he, he, uh, um, he uh, plays on the record. He came over, he, he moved away a long time ago, but he came over and played on it and plays mandolin and drums on the record. But here's a song we do on the record. It's a Bob Dylan song. And um, well, I'm going to take, take out my ear plug. And uh, here we go. If your memory serves you well, we're gone to meet again and wait. I was gone to unpack all my things and sit before it gets too late. No man alive would come to you with another day to tell. You know that we shall meet again if your memory serves you well. This wheel's on fire, it's rolling down the road. This load if I'm my next of kin, this wheel shall explode. If your memory Serves you well. I was gone to confiscate your lace, wrap it up in a sailor's knife, and hide it in your case. If I knew for sure that it was yours, but it's also hard to tell. You know that we should be again if your memory serves you well. This wheel's on fire, it's rolling down the road. Best not if I'm my next of kin, this wheel shall explode. If your memory serves you well, you know that you're the one that called on me. To call on them to get you your favors done And after every plan had failed And there was no taste left to tell You know that we shall meet again If your memory serves you well This wheel's on fire It's rolling down the road This wheel shall explode Yeah, man soon. Hello. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Hold on. It's only take a couple of minutes to get these plugged in here. Hold on. All right. Yeah, man. Right. It's our kind of church. <laughs> Taking us oh. to the chapel. Yeah, man. That wow. Awesome. How's it feel to be playing again for people? Feels about, fantastic, you know. About. It feels really good. Watching. I mean, you know, I've been playing a lot of music here, kind of woodshedding, you know. But uh, I've really been isolated pretty much. But, you know, I was woodshedding for a long time. I used to play piano. I was playing piano a few hours every day. And then at some point in there, 
I kind of lost my mind. I don't know what happened. It was just, a, I don't know how long ago it was. And then I, you know, I mean, it's boring to sit here and talk about, well, you know, what do you do? I read, you know, <laughs> what a boring, you know, thing. To, I mean, it's just a difficult thing. I feel like I, I'm, I'm living in the Peter Case Museum, you know. It's I like, you know, know, it's like, I've got I'm just, that I feeling myself you, sometimes. Yeah. You're like you're, we're sitting in these rooms, man. We're just hanging out here. And it's like, you know, I've been here so long. It's almost like a museum, you know, like I feel like, uh, you know, it should be like little <laughs> names under the things, you know, uh, you know. So um, it's uh, it's weird, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes but, you know, we walk up and down the st scared stairs screaming, I hate this house. <laughs> sort of, sort of. A <laughs> well, out here, man. I mean, I'm really thankful to have a place to stay, man. Because like you know, there's people know. camping out everywhere, man. It's unbelievable, man. So, exactly. Um, if you think about it at all, you're so lucky to have a place. And right. music, I'm not kidding, you know. There's like people. There's you know, people. And technology to be able to send it out to the world. Absolutely. Yeah, they got some people here in hotels, but out of like about eight thousand people, I think about you know a thousand people got put up. But like they could put up everybody, but um, somebody blocked the uh, blocked the expenditure, you know, uh, even though it was passed by the people of the city um, to do it. So, so eight eight thousand people need need a place because their places. So something like that. Yeah, it's wow. pretty it's pretty terrible, you know. But there's these communities all over with people living in tents, you know. Uh, Man, man. It's brutal out there. It's man. crazy, man. Amer uh, you know, and, you know. I expect that's probably going to be the reality in Lake Charles, Louisiana, too. The Lake Charles, Louisiana is having a pounding, problem right now. Pounding, pounding, pounding. And Are they getting yeah. hit real hard right now, huh? Uh, well, it, it, it was the uh, day before yesterday at night, a Friday night it hit, but uh, there's, there's, a lot, there's a lot of loss of, um, of, uh, of, of of roofs and flooding, so oh, I'm really can't sorry to hear it. Yeah, can't stay at their house, you know. So, uh, man, you know the the times. Remember that time we uh, we went to Lafayette and did the. Uh, I do. I'm just remembering that. You know that was. I think it was the last time I saw. No, it wasn't the last time I saw you, but it was the last time I saw you out there in, in person. The, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I saw you out here one time too. Oh, that's Remember right. We, that? got, we guys, had dinner. Oh, yeah, hardly strictly. We had dinner yeah, after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, we hung we out after that. But like, yeah, we were down there at that song festival in, in Louisiana. That was so much fun. It was fun, and I got the yeah. great privilege of being able to write a song with you. I'd love to play oh, it. You, you, you blew my mind with the piano playing too. Wow, you're you're such a great piano player. Oh wow. I mean, everybody knows your guitar chops, but man, your piano chops are just. You know, I love playing piano. You know, and it's like I had to. I just kind of packed it away when I went left home you know uh, and by home I mean uh, like 50 years ago or whatever it was. you know so I mean I, I uh, love to play piano and I used to play in bands and stuff but um, you know when you know guitars are the popular instrument for folk musicians for a good reason you know you can carry uh, you know, you can yep. carry, you know. that's right that's but I love to play you know so I've kind of gotten the bone up on it a bit here so see what happens on the next thing I'm gonna start recording like now that we got these microphones and stuff I might like actually make demos for the first time in years and years and years, and I got this piano and blah blah blah. So you know, uh, it's all good, man. This is a good thing for me, you know, to be uh, doing this. I'm really glad you asked me to do it. Yeah, Thank hopefully you. it'll get but, you started so you can go yeah, ahead and kind do of your like, own thing because people want to yeah, hear from you, man. They need yeah, to hear I, from I, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's been a lot of fun, and I've, I've, it kind of got me up to speed a little bit. So Very awesome. Cool. Well, I'm glad we gave you the nudge. We meaning Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, all right, Jamie. I know. If it was up to me. I wouldn't have never been able to figure this out. Anyway, um, we're gonna play this song that I wrote with Peter Case and Caleb Elliott oh, wow. at the uh, Solo Songwriters Festival or Solo Songwriters. Uh, what do you call it? Music gathering and. I, I think it's called the Solo Songwriters Festival. Yeah, it was an event we held a couple years in Lafayette where songwriters from around the states and around the uh, UK came together in Lafayette, Louisiana and uh, paired up. It was really quite a science project and to see what kind of songs we could come up with. And uh, I was so happy to be with uh, Peter and, and uh, Caleb Elliott, who lives down in Muscle Shoals, the Shoals, Alabama. Uh, what a songwriter he is, incredible. Uh, he's on John Paul White's label, uh, traveling around uh, uh, prior to the pandemic uh, mm -hmm. with John Paul, opening some shows. Anyway, this song's written by Mary Gaucher Caleb Elliott and the great Peter Case.
Crescent City disappearing in the rear view mirror Just like she's always done Spend my life running from the ghost of the vocabulary And that dirty spillway walls in the noonday sun The daughters of charity left their mark on me Keeping secrets well just makes you feel alone Magazine Street stole from me And I never thought I'd find my way home Thank God for you Thank God for you Wake up in the morning and I thank God for you I thank God for you Thank God for you. Wake up in the morning. I thank God for you. Junkie Jones and on a gray bus with a 20 year ticket to a touching mine. Siren sorrow, cigarette butts. My Jesus in pieces, broken as a highway line. Thank God for you. Thank God for you. Wake up in the morning. I thank God for you. I thank God for you. I thank God for you. Wake up in the morning. I thank God for you. You give me something. No one can take away You saw right through me And loved me anyway mm -hmm. I thank God for you I thank God for you Wake up in the morning I thank God for you Thank God for you. I thank God for you. Wake up in the morning. I thank God for you. Nice, Jamie. <laughs> trying to think, like, trying. I love hearing that that demo where Peter plays piano. Oh yeah. And Michaela plays so great, such great piano on it too. Michaela plays great piano on it too. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm gonna play oh. one more. I want I want you to play one that you wrote at that. So why don't you play? Uh, I'm gonna play it right now. Would you mind playing the song you wrote at the With solo? Dirt? Yeah, yeah, sure. Because we're thinking about the folks in Louisiana right now, in Lafayette. Uh, there's a lot of trees down, mm -hmm. New Iberia, mm -hmm. uh, that little rain area. Uh, that storm went right through there, and so thinking of our friends in Lafayette made me think of Dirk Powell, 
uh, yeah. who was also at the second solo songwriters event in uh, Lafayette. And Jamie got paired up with Dirk, uh, and they came up with, I think, an incredible song. Uh, and uh, would you be willing to play that? Yes. Sure. In Matthew Street before I could drive, Mama left it on the counter half full one night. Felt the fire in my chest, shook the hand of the fair and dark-haired lad. Well, he crept through the boards, hid behind the door, but he ain't got a reason to hide no more. Took a seat at the table that my daddy once had, the fair and dark-haired Thank you. I love Thank that Thank you so song. much. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, let's bring in the uh, let's bring in Stro. What do you think? Yeah, totally. Let's see how things are in Venice, Italy today or tonight. Okay. Hello, Hi everybody. Sweetheart, good to see you. Good to see you too. I love that song too, Jamie. As you know, Thank that's you. such a great song. And I want to play violin you. on that. Hmm? Yes, I miss playing it with you. Oh, me too, me too. I listen also to the other songs that you, that you, that you sent me. They are such a great song. Pumeran Town, I love that one, and many others. Wow, what a great bunch of songs. Thank you. I love them. Yeah, yeah. Yes, her, her I new keep songs listening. Are, her, I mm. know, her new songs are, yes, are, yes. Uh, are, mm. are fantastic. And yes, yes, I feel the same. So, <laughs> yes. Yeah. I want to let you know and to let Jamie know. I love those, and I spent this week listening to those great songs. They are you. such great songs. Yes, I tell you. Well, how are you? I'm good. Uh, I'm good, but um, personally, I try to stay 
quiet and safe. But here in Europe, we are now at the second uh, wave of uh, COVID-19. In Italy, it's still not so bad, but it's growing every day again. So probably we are now starting, uh, as you know, in France, in Germany, in uh, England, is uh, the numbers, the figures are going up, up and up, and uh, in Italy too. So I feel that, um, and maybe it would be good to have, that we are going in the direction of a second lockdown here. But uh, we're going to see what will happen. Yeah, I mean, and this is not a surprise. The second wave no, no. was predicted, uh, the, the inevitable, once people go inside after the summer's over and school starts and the struggle mm -hmm. with school and the struggle with uh, college and figuring out how, to, how to, to deal with living in the, inside this pandemic and the constraints when the seasons change, the inevitable second wave. I, I think we're going to see that here, too. It's already starting. Uh, Europe's ahead of us, though, and I'm watching closely, especially Italy, because of what you went through. Uh, yes, yes. Early, we are always a time. little uh, ahead of the rest of the world. Of yeah. And still we are, I guess. Uh, uh, the second wave is coming here uh, and is uh, spreading everywhere because uh, obviously as you say it was predicted with uh, schools uh, and this is uh, the main thing but also other situation where people are in close contact so it was predicted and it's happening let's hope that the figures are uh, will not go so up up like it was in march and april it seems that uh, in the second wave but it's a uh, too soon to say this for sure that uh, um, it's uh, it's not so uh, late little like uh, it was the first time uh, that people are less than in the first wave that's something uh, probably uh, now uh, there is a little more information uh, how to uh, deal with the virus also in the in the hospital so maybe this is the reason and um, many old people mainly died in, in the first wave. Now it seems a little better, but uh, I will tell you next week <laughs> what yeah. is really happening. Mm. Yeah, it's week to week. It's week mm -hmm. to week. Oh, mm -hmm. boy. So you said you might have something to, to play from the Salt Road? Yes, uh, uh, I would love uh, to, play, to play something. Um, Next week I will play again my violin, but I'm still excited that I I, I plugged in uh, my <laughs> keyboard. So let me play for another week. <laughs> you got uh, it. As you can see, because nobody can see it here, I have uh, my keyboard, so so everybody <laughs> see it. Yes. <laughs> And uh, yes, I will play um, this song from, uh, this is another concept album. We were talking about concept album b before I wrote this album ab about the salt roads. They were everywhere in the Western world in Europe, uh, mainly. There was a time when salt was as important as gold and oil. So these roads were really important. And now uh, they are uh, forgotten because uh, salt uh, is now everywhere. I feel that uh, will come one time where, uh, where also the pipelines will be forgotten as the, as the salt roads. But right now they are still uh, important. And so I use this metaphor uh, of the salt road to speak about things that uh, were important and they are not anymore. So there are many salt roads, uh, places that meant something and now they mean less or they disappear. Think about uh, all the places where we, we use to play. So they are salt roads. Now we were traveling uh, what is now a salt road. I'm also trying to support some clubs, some, uh, some friends, but uh, it's really, really difficult. Anyway, in this uh, title track of the album, um, I um, maybe uh, 
uh, I can read a translation. Uh, Mary usually suggests to do this. Um, this is the salt road. The sea is kicking like a mule along the path. The night is falling down, wrapping your eyes. Let's stop walking, my friends. The salt road. The salt road. If you have milk, wine and bread, I can also offer you the hunger and a flight of bees coming a long way to turn your bitter blood into honey. The salt road, the salt road. The wind smells like storm tonight. The wind that is ripping your clothes. Holy and naked we came on earth. God willing, shall we return the same way? I guess, my friend, that in this time we all learn to live in a simpler way. Let's, uh, like uh, we, we came to the world naked and uh, holy, maybe we'll be back to a new austerity and simplicity. come un muro lungo il sentiero la notte cade fascia agli occhi amici fermiamo il cammino oh oh via del sale oh, oh, oh la via del sale oh, oh, oh la via del sale vino e pane io ti offro anche la fame è un volo d'api che viene da lontano per fare miele del tuo sangue amaro
il vento sarà di temporale il vento che strappa i tuoi vestiti veniamo al mondo sacri e nudi ho oh, voglia di Dio che ce ne andiamo La via del sale oh, oh, oh. La via del sale oh, 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 oh. La via del sale Maestro, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. People Thank are you. loving your poetry and your music. It's such a great pleasure to see you every week. Now, you're keeping track of the number of times we've done this. Is this number 26? I think so. I think it's number 26. Unbelievable. And I, something tells me that uh, we'll go on for at least uh, other 26 Sundays. I think so, too. The... Um, <laughs> The word on the street uh, Friday is that Broadway in New York is not going to reopen till May. Mm -hmm. And if Broadway's not going to open, the venues aren't open. So we got another seven months of this. So awesome. Yes, yeah. You know, we got enough music to keep it going. Yes, and, yes. Uh, and uh, get to see we you. Learned, uh, we learned to do, to do something new. So <laughs> that's it. And uh, yeah. now I start wearing my stage clothes at home <laughs> that's really uh, this really a dangerous symptom i guess there is something something dangerous going on in my mind <laughs> we're gonna all be crazy but <laughs> yes <laughs> uh, anyway thank you my friend you thank know you we mary love you. We love thank you, you for so inviting much. me every sunday i love to be part of this and i send love to everybody we can't thank imagine you not seeing you every week now it's part of our family we <laughs> we love it thank you thank you mary thank oh you're welcome hey, grazie michele <laughs> grazie at the downtown near the roosevelt back
head full of dreams, a heart full of hurts. Friends say walk on is more trouble than it's worth. But my will is gone and my head ain't those notes like a pro. Well done, well done, well done. Well, we're going to bring Peter Case back in a second, but first, a quick commercial break. Uh, if you don't have it yet, I would be thrilled if you bought it. This is everything I've ever recorded. This is my life work. It's 10 CDs. It comes in a box. It's called a bundle, and it comes with a map. Uh, uh, that says mercy, uh, uh, pandemic face mask that says mercy, 10 CDs in a box, everything I've ever made with the mask, 50 bucks. That's a deal. That's a deal. We've also got the mercy now t-shirts, small to double extra large. Uh, that, uh, is in stock and we ship them out Monday morning. Uh, we also have the Jamie, Mary, and Michaela posters, which I will sign, and Jamie will sign. Sadly, we can't get him to Italy and back for Michaela to sign it, but when we see you in person, you can have him sign it. Anyway, these beautiful posters designed by Brad Bond uh, of us three playing around the campfire. Actually, this is taken from a shot at the Edmonton Folk Festival yep. mm -hmm. when we were on stage with Bruce Coburn. And Ani DeFranco. And Alinda from Hooray from and the Riff Raft. And Alinda from Hooray from the Riff Raft. It was a moment. We were in love with that moment. It was great. And we've captured it for eternity. <laughs> uh, anyway, thanks for putting up with the commercial. Uh, we appreciate your patronage. It helps us to keep going. We appreciate mm -hmm. your tips. We're going to divide them amongst everyone you see on the screen today. Uh, and uh, grateful always for that. Uh, and let's bring Peter back. You got it. Yeah, wow, man. <laughs> oh, that was great. Yeah, that's beautiful. Jamie, a great song. I loved your songs there. Thank you. Mary, beautiful. I'm really enjoying hearing the show. McKaylee's poem was so great. I loved what he did, you know. Uh, it was a great thing. And that concept, man. Wow, the salt road, yeah. Um, yeah. Wow, and a box set, you know. You got a box and everything. It's pretty good. You know? It's, hey, I got uh, some. I'm not selling anything, but I wish I was. But this is my <laughs> new book. I just got it back from the... Um, oh, congratulations. The, the guy, uh, my friend um, Kelly DeSaint, um, this is the book, but it's kind of a... Uh, uh, we're gonna, it's going to be a little bit different than this one, but this is it right here. It's Come stories on. and lyrics. Oh, and it's kind yeah. Of, it's kind of, it's, oh, cool. Instead of a bio, it's sort of like a um, song bio, you know? And... Uh, 
Well, as soon as you got a pre-order button on the, your website, we're going to buy that thing. We well, I'll trade you one. out for a Mercy Now t-shirt. That would be pretty cool. I like you that got Mercy it. Now, man. That's pretty good. You so, uh, got it. All right. Well, how, hey, how many songs you want me to play? Play two in a row, Mr. Case. Two in a row? Okay. Thank you. All right. I'm going to take out my ear thing and just blast off into Kicksville here. So hold on a second. All right. Okay, so here's a song off the Midnight Broadcast album. It's coming out pretty soon. And uh, I learned this from my friend, uh, the late Michael Wilhelm um, from the Charlatans Band in San Francisco. And he was one of the first people I met in San Francisco. And he taught me this song. He learned it from Mance Lipscomb. And uh, it goes like this. Charlie James walking down this road. Don't tell him which way you see me go. I had a whole lot of trouble since I saw you last. Well, I don't know my future and I don't want to say my past. I had a whole lot of money. One day, one day. On the very next day, I did not have a dime. Looking on down the road, as far as I could see, <coughs> I thought I saw my old time used to be. All right. the song Charlie James. Man, Slipscomb said that he learned it from his uncle who was in a chain gang in Georgia. Apparently. Well, I was going to do this a cappella song, but then I saw that a fellow that, uh, a fan of mine <laughs> wanted to hear a tune and I thought I'd play the request instead. So this is a song off my very first album. And uh, um, I wrote this about um, John F. Kennedy. And it's on my first record and it goes like this. It's called I Shook His Hand. I was a kid out behind the fair His words were like lightning <coughs> hey, Hold on a second, folks <coughs> I'm having a meltdown over here You know, maybe I can't um, Whoa, everything's going wrong Maybe I can't um, Sing that one, but let me see if I can Something just happened to me, I don't know what But I was a kid out behind the fair His words were like lightning in the summer air His eyes were wild with the truth he told Holding back the rain while the thunder rolled oh. Too young not to understand I was proud I shook his head 
He took command on a winter's day And all across the land spring was on its way He struck fear into the hearts of fools Raking up the gags, breaking all the rules Too young not to understand, I was proud I shook his head Well, I shook his hand Tongue is a world, each child is an ocean Of every man, woman, child here in living motion Now who will protect us, who will perfect us Who will live to see the day when love connects us you Take a step out in this land, I'd be proud I shook his head All right They tried to kill him, he finally died I still remember how I felt while my mama cried <clears throat> I grew up with a bullet in my breast If you know it or not, so did all the rest Too young not to understand, I was proud I shook his head Each tongue is a word Shines an ocean of every man, woman, child here in living motion. <clears throat> now, who will protect us? Who will perfect us? Who will live to see the day when love connects us? Who take a step out in this land? I'll be proud. I shook his head. I shook his head. Shook his hand. Something like that. Having a little attack in the middle of that, Mary. You powered on and powered oh, no. through. People loved it. We it's loved it. It's never really it. happened to me recently, but there you go. Well, you still you never know what's going to happen next. Thing, right. that cough thing that you had. That I know, man. I better. Hope that doesn't come back around. I have these harmonicas. I was like super into playing harmonica at the start of the lockdown. And then when I got really sick, I got better for a little while. And then I played the harmonicas one day. And then I had like a big relapse. So I'm really afraid to play my harmonicas. I was <laughs> enjoying beautiful. hearing your harmonica, man. But I don't know. What do you, how do you, what are you supposed to do with them? Boil them or pour rubbing alcohol in them? Or I don't know. I uh I don't do either. I just I I, I play I never until, did in, until either. they go flat on me. They their reeds go flat, and I'll just buy another one. I've never cleaned one in my life, but you know maybe now I'm, I've got these beautiful. Maybe now. <laughs> you know how you get a good harmonica, you know. Sometimes know, you get a good harmonica, and like they're you know they're kind of rare these days to get a good one. A lot of them are kind of sloppy when you get them out of the box, and then when you get a good Some one, man, you just want to keep flat it. You know, note. And, I, and yeah. Yeah, when I started playing harmonica, it was like two fifty to get one, and now it's like seventy five bucks, you know, so something like that. <laughs> All right, well, the enough out of me. Are. What What do you guys want to do? You want to hear any more music, or what? You the gonna good sing ones are. One or? Believe it or not, we've gone through ninety minutes here a Sunday afternoon. One thing's for sure, you Peter Case, you've got to start doing your own live streams. Everyone's asking for it. Everyone's <laughs> asking for it. You got to do live streams on. Okay, your Okay, well, I page. will. You know. Uh, maybe, Jamie, You're up and maybe running. Jamie can uh, have a conversation with me about it totally. because I might need to get my yeah, stuff together. Yeah, she'll show you right. where Thank to, you, where to, or how totally, to. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, I really it's appreciate not. your help with it all because uh, you know I'm, you know how it is uh, with people. Uh, I do about my speed, I man. I'm just like whoop, kind of. <laughs> it's coming. It's learning the a whole, whole thing. new it's skill like, set. Exactly. Look, we've had, we've had uh, people on the show who are producers of international 
reputation who can't figure out how to broadcast live. They can produce a Kenny Chesney record. Uh, they well, as producers of the last guys would be able to figure out something like that. You know? This is a different this TV, man. Okay, yeah. This is a different thing. This is a visual Wouldn't doubt media. get on the phone. That's how you produce. Man. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining us, man. We're going to play us out and call it a day. We All love right. you and you know it. Love you guys, man. Thanks so much for having me on. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks for bringing the joy, this man. Is so we're great. both we're both beaming over yeah. here. We're smiling. Right on. It's so Our great to hear. Hurts. All right. Thank you. Thank I'll, you. you. I'll see you soon. I'll we'll see, see you soon. soon. Oh, yeah. Bye. -bye. <laughs> oh man, that's so great. That's so awesome. Oh, yeah. He, he's got so much good energy. I he, love like his life. I was telling Mary earlier. He was. Um, he has a great. If you're if you're into this whole deal, which I'm super into it, um, the Tales from the Tavern, which I guess is a venue where you've played it in somewhere in California. It's uh, I forget the Southern name. Southern California or Northern. Northern. No, in, I don't remember. I don't know. But they've been doing these great series where we did one a couple weeks ago where the artist is on the chat and uh, and they play a show. So, anyways, on YouTube they've been showing these live shows from Tales from the Tavern and Peters came out a few weeks ago and it is just fabulous like the stories and the vibe i he's one of my favorite people to see live so it was really cool yeah, to have he's him on the show. master storyteller and if you're hanging out on youtube just go watch it after this check it out it's yeah. really a great show yeah tales from the tavern peter case yeah. i loved watching mine because it was a show yeah. from seven years ago or eight eight years ago yeah, was... i had mike meadows and annie stanonetz on the violin it was a completely different configuration of people and i had a really different face a decade ago <laughs> It was younger, <laughs> and I was thinner. <laughs> uh, but the band sounded great, and the songs sounded great, and I was, yeah, I was happy cool. that they got a good show. Uh, Tales from the Tavern, it's up on YouTube. Uh, mm -hmm. Mary Gaucher show, Peter Case show. Uh, they're uh, bringing shows from this venue that's been there for many, many years. They're, it's the best of the shows, and they recorded all of them um, uh, over the years, so they're now editing them. And, and putting them on to... With interviews, uh, too, right? With interviews up onto interview. I mean, onto YouTube. So, uh, yeah. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. I'm Cap loving it. Captures loving a moment it. in time. Eliza's got one, right? Eliza with Nina Gerber on With guitar, Nina, yeah. Which is monster guitar. So anyway, good. thanks for joining us, everybody. Uh, we'll be back next week with... Travis. Travis Meadows, songwriter extraordinaire. And then... Uh, Amy Helm, and then we've got more surprises coming. We've got, uh, i got to figure out uh, November 1st, but I'll, I'll figure it out. Can I tell everyone who's coming on November 8th? That yeah, I'm sure. My friend Betty Sue from Austin, Texas. Betty Sue will be with us on, on the 8th. And then... Uh, Mr. Snake Farm. Snake Snake Daddy himself, Ray Wiley Hubbard, yeah, on the, what is it, 16th? The 15th. 15th. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we got a little holes. I'm going to fill them up, and... Uh, we're just going to keep it coming as long as we're here. Thank you all again. Appreciate you. Take care. My father sure could use a little mercy now. The fruits of his labor Falling right slowly on the ground His work is almost over Won't be long, he won't be around I love my father he could use some mercy now And my brother Sure could use a little mercy now He's a stranger to freedom Shackled to his fear and doubt That he lives in it's almost more than living will allow I 
I love my brother He could use some mercy now My church and my country They could use a little mercy now As they sink into a poison pit it's gonna take forever to climb out They carry the weight of the faithful Who follow them down I love my church and country They could use some mercy now Every living thing could use a little mercy now. Only the hand of grace can end the race towards another mushroom clay. There's people in power who'll do anything to keep their crown I love life life itself could use some mercy now <laughs> could use a little mercy now I know we don't deserve it but we need it anyhow we hang in the balance we dangle between hell and hallows Now. Yes, every single one of us could use some mercy now. Thank y'all for jumping on. I appreciate it. Thanks for the tips. We appreciate it. And we'll see you next week. Same time, same place with Travis Meadows. If you don't know his music, you're going to really enjoy getting to know him. He's one of the handful of songwriters here in Nashville uh, that I remain in awe of. We will see you soon. <laughs>